My name is Mylin Yamamoto, and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm a fourth generation Japanese American, and my grandpa fought in World War II. My dad has worked for Hawaii's Department of Education for over 40 years, and it's because of him that I became a teacher. There are a lot of different entities that you can use to get your product to market. I've been teaching university entrepreneurship classes for the past seven years. I realize it's one thing to teach entrepreneurship and quite another to be an entrepreneur. It was on a flight to Asia where I had a simple problem I'm sure thousands of people have also experienced. That's when I came up with an idea to innovate a product that hasn't changed in over 4,000 years. I'm gonna miss you so much. Let's stay in touch. It's scary to leave a steady income, a place that I've known for seven years, and going out and risking everything. But it's important to prove to myself and my students that I can make this business a success. This is my big moment. I've been teaching entrepreneurship for so long that now it's time to walk the walk and put my lessons to practice. Sharks, see that handsome sushi man over there? We got married two weeks ago, so excuse wow. me for, thank you, any chance to be carried. Plus, these slippers are really hard to walk in. Okay. No <laughs> <laughs> Konnichiwa, Sharks. I'm Malin Yamamoto, the inventor of Crop 6 from Honolulu, Hawaii, and today I'm seeking $75,000 in exchange for 12.5% of our company. Crop Sticks is reinventing the hashi. Repeat with me, sharks. Hashi. hashi! Hashi! That was awesome! Hashi is a Japanese word for chopsticks. Oh. Chopsticks are traditionally paired with what we call a hashioki. Repeat. Hashioki! Very good. But in modern day commerce, it's very expensive for restaurants to maintain this rest, leaving chopsticks to lay alone on dirty, germy tables. Chopsticks have been around for over 4,000 years, and that's because this ancient utensil is simply amazing, but they're not without fault. For example, these chopsticks are circular in shape, and when placed on the table, they tend to roll off. And these chopsticks are made of wood, killing millions of trees every single year for a product we simply throw away. Ha! Ha! And when you split them apart, you can get splinters. Mm. But Cropstick solves all these problems. Cropstick is the first ever disposable chopstick with a built-in rest. Simply snap it apart horizontally, the top <laughs> becomes a rest. Oh. Try to do that with traditional chopsticks? It's idea. impossible. Oh. 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 <laughs> no more splinters, and Cropstick is better for the environment. It's eco-friendly because we make our Cropstick out of bamboo. Simply put, crop sticks are chopsticks reinvented. This is my sushi chef husband, Ron. He's gonna pass out some sushis for you. Thank you, Ron. I'll be right back in a change into Lori's something more modern. Lori's is a California roll. Mr. Thank you. Damon, we have a real avocado for you. Thank you. Oh, wow. And Mark, we have spicy tuna for you. Awesome, that's what's up. Hello. Oh, man, what happened to you? What happened? So it broke off easily, has a little scoop out section here, mm -hmm. and you can just lay it down. It's very clever. Thank you. So what are your sales, and how oh, long no, have you been in business? <laughs> to the sales, we had a Kickstarter in March, so we sold 21,800 off of that. Sure. And right now we have um, conditional purchase orders for 190,000, and of that in profit is 125,000. Yeah. So profit wow. margin is about 65%. Wow, good for you. Thank you, Mark. Who's your purchase order from? So we have one from a very large hotel chain. It's a Hyatt. And we also have one from a large Asian distribution company. And do you have a patent on this? We have a provisional patent. My line, what's your background? I was a teacher. I got my master's in communication. My first teaching job was as an English teacher in Japan. And after that, Loyola Marymount found me and hired me into their department to teach entrepreneurship. Oh, teach entrepreneurship? Cool. Oh, you were teaching entrepreneurship. I was. And I just stepped down from the position to do entrepreneurship. To be an entrepreneur. Let's get back so to the business for a moment, because I was actually involved in a deal that made bamboo, knives, and forks. What I found out is the restaurant will not pay one-eighth of one cent more 
for a bamboo spoon. They couldn't give a flying beep. So if you're a restaurant chain, generally you buy these from a distributor. You care about every cent and what you pay. What do yours cost versus those? Two, um, we sell it for 10 cents. We sell it to distributors for six cents. We make it for 2.2 cents. And what does a restaurant today pay for them? It depends. So middle tier, like your P.F. Chang's, pays about uh, three cents to eight cents. Then your high tier market, like your Nobu, pays anywhere from eight cents to as much as 17 cents. You will not be able to charge a cent more for this. Nobody will care. But if they can buy it for the that's same our, price. OK, so that's our go-to market strategy, Mr. Wonderful. Middle tier, high tier market, sell to them first, scale up, bring our cogs down, then go to those Panda Express. Do you have a distribution company that is saying, I'm going to take you all these places? Not yet. Not yet. Why not? Do you know? We are still relationship developing, especially the one that bought into us already. Want to make sure we get the logistics right on that. Mylon. I don't think anybody really cares about branding and chopsticks. I don't think anybody says, make sure my chopsticks are crop sticks. It's done at the distributor level. If you came out here and said to me, look, we're going to price these things at the lowest point to get distribution. And everybody that buys chopsticks will have only one alternative. Buy the old ones at six cents, or buy my new innovation at six cents. Mine's better, but it gives you an extra bonus of having this on the top. That's a strategy that makes sense. You seem to be going in a different direction, which I don't think is going to work. I, I, I think you remind me of Bambi in the bamboo <laughs> jungle, and you're about to get squashed. I'm out. Melin, first, congratulations. You know, you, you've actually gone from academia to, you know, implementation. Thank but you it still feels a little bit like a class project. I, I think you're being overly optimistic. I think there's a little bit of realism that's not there. I'm out. I like the product. Um, I think it really is a B2B play, as you're doing, just selling directly to the Hyatt's and restaurants. Um, it's a little too early for me, so I'm out. Thank you, Damon. To your points about being the Bambi in the bamboo forest, I, I've had less than $20 in my bank account. I know what it's like to be strategic and make something out of nothing happen. I, I don't think you're a Bambi. I can feel that from you. I admire the fact you left a safe environment in school and you actually did it. You started a business. Um, the bad news is Kevin's right. If you can't sell it for the same price, it's a commodity. You're gonna have a very challenging time adding value to a commodity. I'm out. Thank you, Robert. Then there was one. Lori. I do not see you as a Bambi at all. I see you as a strong, smart woman. Um, I think you did a better mousetrap. I mean, it was clever. Thank you. But I don't see it as a business for me. But I hope that it blows up for you. I'm up. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and the feedback. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, Good luck. luck. Okay. Thank you. Those Bye shoes now. look really hard to walk in. They really are. I'm going to take them <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. How dare you call her Bambi in the forest? Like this. Uh, you have no <laughs> That's what's gonna happen heart. To her. Uh, Come on, I mean, you know, you know this isn't gonna work. One of the few times you're right. It's a commodity. People aren't gonna pay a premium. It was nice knowing her.